Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerTrading.com, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to share something I've been looking at with you in Tesla. Off of the current background, you can see that um, we've got a 10-minute chart of Tesla and some signals down here in the bottom of this area. These are the squeezes that I like looking to for end of day signals for potential continuation into the next day. Now this one, admittedly, and actually as I look at these, <laughs> they, they just show a unique kind of a, almost a tricky pattern because the squeezes are technically firing short, but the overall prevailing strength of the trend in Tesla and a lot of shorts that are being forced to cover is primarily what's driving this as of now. If you look to it back off of a daily chart, you can look and see where the move, this was the high that we had made because this is the kind of short covering off of earnings. It takes you all the way up into 361.20 and then you have the Cybertruck fiasco. I think that this gave a lot of people an opportunity to add to a bearish thesis and now that it's you know kind of clawing up through that, not only do you have people that might be stuck on the bearish side of that that you know it's kind of adding fuel to the move but the people that were comfortable here thinking alright I'm finally done having to take heat in that short position well now it's back in their face as well so I actually think that this 10 or maybe it'll look a little bit cleaner off of a 15 minute chart this actually offers a little bit better signal I usually use more of the 15s but you can just see the idea where you compress, gap up, and then spend the next day consolidating, roll lower into the close, gap up the next day, consolidate, a little bit of softness into the close today, but if this can trigger to the long side and Tesla can gap above 362 on Friday, you know, that's where you've got, I think, the potential to continue to run. I would look at it then, coming back to the daily chart and looking at a 1272 extension, this is a very basic way to use Fibonacci, but it allows you to take this high against the swing low and give you a place to target to the upside. So, you know, if we could catch a trade into next week for a move up into 370, I think that's a viable swing trade. If it doesn't happen, you know, say you get below um, this low of what is now currently Thursday's session, well then I'd have to cut the idea loose, and of course you want to make sure you're defining your risk and all that good stuff, but otherwise, I think this is in play for Friday and something you should have on your watch list. So, you guys have a good rest of your evening, and we will see you at the next free video.